Here is a response. I've sketched a step response, right? Now, I've been kind here because I've specified that the system is an ideal step. But remember that if I just say response, I pretty much always mean step response. So if I just say response, probably I mean step response. And what I'm looking for here is which one of these maps of the poles and zeros correspond to this output. Would it change your answer if I zoomed out on this curve and it just kept going down and down and down and down? Because that's what I'm implying here. I, I would always zoom out enough so you could see the eventual behavior. And that's, that's really the knockdown tip. There's only, like, given what I've just told you, there's only two possible answers. And so when I say it keeps going down forever, what am I saying? Integrating system. If I, sub if I subject an integrating system to an input, does it continue to go on forever? Yes. Where is the denominator root for an integrating system? Okay, so remember, we have done exactly three kinds of standard systems so far, right? We've done this guy, we've done this guy, and we've done this guy, aka integrating system. So where are that systems roots of the denominator, characteristic equation roots, poles. This guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. That the denominator of the transfer function that polynomial shares roots with the characteristic equation of the differential equation that describes the system. Those roots are known as the poles of the system. Okay, so there we've got uh, one real pole. Here we have two real poles. That's the overdamped system. They are distinct because I've got... Um, because I've got a super overdamped. Remember, if it was critically damped, we would have a repeated pair. So that we would still have two, but they would be on top of one another. Over here, this, remember, was the underdamped system, and the underdamped system had two distinct complex poles. Here, we have an integrating system. The integrating system has a single pole that is still a linear polynomial. S is also a linear polynomial right? And it has, it just has a really trivial root, s equals zero. We spot only two of these possible systems has a uh, integrating pole. So that's what that one and that one. Right? So all of these others are eliminated by the fact that they don't show integrating behavior. Um, now it's a question of what is the order of that system. All I want you to understand is that this system is overall first order. I can see that it's overall first order because it has a discontinuous first derivative. Because it is overall first order, it must have two poles and one zero. This system will have one pole and one zero, and that will be overall zero order. The overall order of a transfer function is the order of the numerator or the denominator minus the order of the, uh, the numerator. And so from very far away, systems that have first over second order polynomials resemble in their responses the net response. And so this is like a net first order response. I know that because it's got, it doesn't start, its step response doesn't start discontinuously. So if, if you would, and you can do this as an exercise at home, plot, this, plot the response of a, a first over first, and then plot the response of a first over second, and you'll see the first over first will have a discontinuity at t0.
the state response.